course, it is so much fun to talk spring here. And with spring, many people think spring cleaning. Maybe you are looking to toss away some of those items you've been holding on to. Well, not so fast. Dr. Lori, the one and only Antiques Appraiser, is back with us here today to talk about items maybe we should keep and ones that perhaps we could part with. Dr. Lori, how are you? I'm fine. You know, we get motivated, you know, we get motivated for spring. We're like, we're cleaning this out. We're moving this. We're getting, so we just want to make sure that you don't make any mistakes. So we're going to play dumpster, no dumpster, anything over $50. We dump uh, over $50. We keep under $50. We dump, right? Because you got to clean out some of the stuff. And, uh, of course, everyone's been sending in photos to the Facebook page at Tampa Bay's morning blend. There's so much cool stuff there. And if you want to put your photo there, I will pick it up from there and you might be selected to participate in the game. Okay, so you can send your, your photos in there. What? Where are we starting with, Nat? Which one did you like first? I, you know what, Dr. Lori? I will tell you, I actually just did this this past weekend with my daughter's toys and clothes. So I'm feeling good. I'm feeling that we made some good decisions. Let's see if we've got what it takes. What is the first item today? Good, good. This is a Disneykins play set from the 1950s. It's relatively rare. Of course, you know, in the Tampa neck of the woods, you will see more of these because, of course, you've got Disney nearby. Uh, well, Disney World nearby. So what you're looking at here is the play set in its original packaging. I don't think it's even been opened. Huh. Um, yeah. Okay, is it bad that I don't even recognize the Disney Kin word? I've never even heard of that before. Is that what what is that about? Yeah, well, the Disney Kin play sets were collectible and you can actually interchange the parts. So you'll notice that Peter Pan was there. So that helps us to identify date in the middle part of the 20th century, the mid to late 20th century. So that's a relatively nice piece. And they did see these and people would actually mix and match them. So you could actually have many of the play sets. You can buy one play set and just play with that, or you could actually add more and then use all of the characters together, sort of the play together kind of thing. So. Well, and that one was still nice. in the box too, right? I mean, yeah, that always exactly. adds value. Still in the box has value. What do you Absolutely. think? Absolutely. I'm, I'm holding on to that bad boy. If you could have kept it in the box this long, I think you should definitely hold on to it and say no dumpster. You got it. $135 for that Disney Kins play set. Nice. I was going to say, none of my daughter's toys were still in the box that I got rid of. I will say that. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Let's go ahead and move on to the second item. This is a costume jewelry open circle pin by Monet. It's clearly marked Monet. And that open circle is a late 20th century design. They designed the 1970, probably like 1975, like 1985, made by Monet. The relatively well-known costume jewelry manufacturer. Of course, it is not solid gold, it's gold plated. You know what, with the name still, and you and I have talked about costume jewelry, how it's one of those things, just because it's not 100% real, costume jewelry, as you've shared, has value. So I'm gonna go no dumpster on this as well. No dumpster is right, it's $65, very hey. good. <laughs> hey, rocking and rolling today. I can't believe we're already to item three. What is it? The third item is a washboard. From the early part of the 20th century, a lot of people like these and well, this one is a vintage washboard. It's not antique because it's not 100 years old. But a lot of people like these vintage washboards to, for a particular look, maybe in your um, in your laundry room. So lots of people, no one wants to use them, of course, anymore. But of course, for decor, they are a lot of fun. It's wood and, of course, metal, corrugated. <sighs> I don't know. I'm kind of torn on this. I was leaning towards no dumpster because I know people like to display these things. We do have a few people here hanging in the studio. I'm getting some no's. I'm getting some dumpster uh, in the studio. So Every, I'm, everybody I'm likes to play along. I know everyone's playing along. I love it here. It's fun being back in the studio. Um, I don't know. Well, I feel like there's a lot of these out there. No, a lot of them out there. A lot of them out there. I would probably part with it. I think I'm going to say dumpster 20 bucks. Yes, there we go. There we go. Hey, Lori, by the way, we've only got a bit of a minute left, but you said something really interesting right there. When you were talking about antiques, you said, of course, that has to be 100 years old vintage if it's not. I don't think we've ever really addressed that here on our segments. Anything that's considered an antique must be 100 years old or more or older. 
anything less than that, we call vintage. So for example, you and I, we're vintage. <laughs> no, but of course, 100 years old is an antique. <laughs> Which by the way, we will say we were just having fun off camera talking about ages as a matter of fact. So I love that you drop that in there, Lori. I love that yep. you drop in with us each and every week. Of course, you can stay in touch with her and show her some of the items or play dumpster or no dumpster with us. Just check out our Facebook page or the website on the bottom of the screen. Take care, Dr. Lori. Nice to see you. Thanks.